Ola campers. Here we go. Alrighty. Finally, we're getting some color on the spoon. Now, last video, you saw I did all of these base colors. And if you look there to the right, I got some s'more spoons. That really, I said s'mores. Yes. I'm really a dummy. Anyways, I have some more spoons over there on the right that I need to go ahead and paint gloss black. You'll see that here coming up very soon, the next video, to be honest. So I'm trying to hurry up, get this one all done, so we can go ahead and get this show going. And I want to let you all know real quick here, be, I went and I fast forward through some areas because seriously, you don't want to see me spraying every darn spoon with two or three cups. So that's what it is. Okay, we're going to start here with the three primary colors I've got. The PS16 metallic blue. Then, of course, there I, the uh, can right next is going to be the lime green. And then the one behind that, I think they call that one the frost green, but I'm not too darn sure. But you see, there it is. There is the lime green, the TS52. And as soon as I hurry up here, you're going to see the final one. Now, like I say, these are the more or less what I refer to as full coat colors. I have two candy colors after this. That's why they're so darn many spoons. But like I said, there it is. That is the uh, TS, what is it, 50 or 60? That's right. TS 60. And, well, you'll kind of see her shortly on this color. Like I said, I got candy colors. I'm going to mix this one up here in a minute or so. But that's the X27 Candy Apple Red. And the jar over there on the other side here is the Candy Apple Green. Like I just said a few minutes ago, or actually about a minute ago, I've got the uh, candy red you can see over there on the right. Sorry about that thing hanging down, but okay, this is the Jet Black Lacquer. I got that from O'Reilly's and have been told that it's a really good gloss black lacquer and well, that's going to be one of the base colors. But to start off with, I'm starting off with the uh, blue, and well, I'm going to get the uh, camera adjusted here, the old PS16, and let's see what it looks like. Ah, yes, the pasty white legs of an old man in short. What can I say? Anyways, for this, I'm not going to use my spray booth because it's so much easier right now for me to shoot it down into the trash can, honestly. So I'm going to grab a spoon and let's get to town on this color.
Okay, now we are going with the TS-60. The, uh, I think they call it frost green or mint green, something like that. Um, well, okay. When I do preview what the color is going to look like, you're going to see it for yourself. I, not my favorite at all. I can maybe figure something out to use it with, but, well, I'm not quite sure yet. I should have done all this prep like this earlier, but didn't even think about it, to be honest with you. Sorry. You can see right there why it is not my favorite color in the slightest little bit. Yes, that was me counting and going, man, really, I'm kind of on the ledge about that one. I'm not really thrilled. As you can see yourself, it's just like, eh, no, not really. I'm not a fan of that one at all, to be honest with you. You know, honestly, if I was doing something like an old 62 Rambo or something, boy, I'd be the perfect color for that, wouldn't it, folks? Okay, now we're on to the TS-52, the lime green, but really it's, it's not that bad of a color, I actually kind of like it, I mean, I really do kind of like it. Yeah, you'll see, not in the next video, but in the video after that, before I, but, I'll tell you what, maybe I'll, I think I will put it next video, y'all see. The only reason I said the next video because I had to split up my footage because altogether, even with fast forwarding, I had 30 minutes worth of video going on here. But I mean, look at that. That that actually looks pretty good. I mean, I like that color a lot. I really, really do. Only reason that y'all see this, you know, me moving around is because I'm in the process of redoing stuff. 
and honestly I just don't have the room it's really a cluttered mess but I'm gonna get that fixed here really quick Oh, those three rattle can colors. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. Um, I really like this blue. I mean, wow. I mean, that is really rich. And boy, do the base colors on those spoons just really, really show up very well. I like it. If I wasn't going for a completely different color... Now, I'm serious, I would probably do it, but I, I did this for another reason as well. Yeah, you'll see. To be flat out honest, the only reason I did not take and speed up this section again and shave about, it had only been another minute or two off of it, I just wanted to show you all kind of sort of what that blue really looks like in these base colors because holy cow, is it rich, vibrant, and just, I mean, beautiful blue. In the next video, my friends, you're going to see me doing black. And then I'm going to be taking a course, you know, and, and hitting my colors again on the gloss black lacquer. But where do you see what those candy colors look like? They're just like, oh, wow. As always, my friends, thank you again for watching so very much. I mean, you don't know how much I appreciate it. And do not forget, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, ring that bell, and comment, please. Remember, add your name in the comments.